Hey, 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 what's up, world? Your boy G Shrimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in, boop, we in Alabama with it, y'all. Now we still talking about this girl, y'all, Curly Russell, y'all. But instead of bashing her today, I'm gonna try to give her a little advice since I'm over here and I almost started it. Let me start it late. I'm glad y'all. I'm gonna do the intro over and everything because I've been pretty busy today. So I was supposed to start the podcast, but I'm gonna start it over, y'all. Maybe I'll just hit it all, but I ain't gonna make y'all go through all that again. I'm just gonna uh, hit record. And tell y'all like this. Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, voice of the street, man. And today we in, woo, we in Alabama, y'all. We're gonna be going over the um, Paulette Russell story, y'all. Instead of bashing her today, we go gonna give her a little advice. And today's video today is sponsored by DivaShade.com, y'all. Diva Shades is my wife online company, y'all, specializing in female shades. She's a fly girl, so if y'all want to be fly like my wife, y'all go over there and make sure y'all tell her. Your husband sent me over here. I sent him on the G-Shrimp show mm-hmm, so she can be extra nice to me, and I keep doing this. Also, today's video was brought to you by Room to Play. Now, Room to Play is a daycare center over here on 8855 South State, y'all, right next to the Jewels. If you got little bad kids and you need somewhere to take them, take them over there. Make sure you tell them the G Shrimp Show sent you over there. Or you can just say, hey, girl, your cousin sent me over here. And she'll know what you're talking about. She'll be like, I know I heard it on the radio. Mm -hmm. That's fam, y'all. Now, look. Everybody's talking about the girl and they just dragging her name through the mud. You know, we don't know what this girl was going through, but I kind of did a little bit because I was guessing it. You know, I be telling y'all I got this ESP. I was guessing it the first day I said, y'all need to go see is that girl flunking out of school. And sure enough, she was having a problem at the school. Now, we all know she had lost her job, but they officially came out today or the other day and made a statement, y'all. And she was working at a spa. Now, they got on camera. She just had got real careless the last few days. This is how. I don't know if she stole the money from her job, a customer, or whatever. But she came out. She got a robe and a raw tissue. She was planning her big night at the hotel, y'all. She was already planning to go to that hotel. That's the only reason you would think you would need to take a damn robe from the job. It's because she thinking, well, I'm going to be missing. I ain't going to go home, but I'm going to be in the hotel. I'm going to take a lot of showers because I'm going to be in there for two days. I'm going to take this. I better get some tissue because they don't be having the tissue I like in the hotel, you know, they got that cheap ass hard tissue, so you know, she's a fly girl, she looked like she might be, you know, driving the Benz, she might like this Scotch tissue, this soft tissue, or maybe better yet, she might want some Sherman, y'all, mm-hmm, she needed some Sherman tissues, they might have had Sherman at the job, she didn't want to be, mm-mm, or me, I don't care if I'm missing or not, I'm not going to be using no hotel tissue mm -mm, not to wipe this missing ass not this seductive ass hmm no mm -mm, this ass is missing so I cannot have it just any type of way but this is not to Carly because we know you're a little slow well not I won't say slow I don't mean it like that but we know you're going through some system I'm sorry I didn't mean to say it like that but this is to her parents how long y'all go stand behind your daughter before she start making y'all look bad you know y'all are finna lose what they call integrity you know and we start losing your integrity uh people they already she done lost her job her name is becoming bad publicity 
And the reason they fired from her job, not only with just the robe and the tissue, because she could have paid for that shit. They could have charged her for that. That is nothing. The publicity is too bad. They losing money in the comments, the online there. She's bad publicity online. Everybody is attacking her. And your name is attached to hers. Your job might be in jeopardy, husband and wife. So what y'all need to do, check that girl into a hospital just for three days for observation. And then y'all have a press conference at the hospital outside. Make sure it's a mental ward and make sure you let them know, hey, we believe this girl is mine. And they'll be like, what? Why you think that? Say, look, we're trying to stand behind our daughter as long as we could. But all the evidence is starting to point to she's lying. You know, now, we want to believe our daughter. We love her. And we're going to stand by her through this. But right is right and wrong is wrong. We didn't raise her like that. So if she lying, she need to just come on out and tell the truth. I ain't saying she got to stand in front of y'all to confess. Just can say, the story I created was false. I want to apologize to all the police I had looking for me. I want to say thank you to all the rescue people and uh, the people who came and spent their time looking for me. All the people who volunteered, you know, they call them volunteers. I want to thank y'all and I want to say I'm sorry and that's it, y'all. Would you believe, see, and this is why this is nothing to play with. Her name is clouding up everything. Would you believe it's a real 13-year-old girl was kidnapped at gunpoint, y'all, from Texas. The man kidnapped this woman at gunpoint, had her in the car. He's molesting her, raping her, doing what he want. He driving up from Texas. He, she was being trafficking for real. She was being trafficked for real, y'all. You hear me? The man kidnapped her from Texas, drove her ass to Long Beach, y'all. You hear me? California. Long Beach. This little girl had enough sense. She had a marker or something in her pocket. And she wrote, help me on something. And she had it crumbled up. And as she was riding, she put it out the window. And the passing motorist synced it. And called it in. Whether it was a hoax or not, they called it in. Would you believe the police stopped that damn car? And it turned out to be legit. This girl was kidnapped for real. That's why you should be ashamed of yourself, Carly. And I said, I didn't want to make this about bashing you. That's why you should be ashamed of yourself. And that's why the parents need to come clean. Because y'all need to throw this in her face. Look at this. Now, what if one of the people would have been somebody who watched this show and be like, Girl, look at this. Now you got all these damn fools. Now look at this little bitch over here talking about help. Now look at her plan. What if somebody would have seen that little girl and thought she was playing, y'all? You know what I mean? This man, he was 61 years old. Had kidnapped her for real. And sometimes the white people, they be moving around and have these kids so scared. They look like grandchildren and children. And uh, he had her. He had been sexually assaulting her all the way. He finna take her and do her dirty, y'all. He finna do her dirty. I don't think they'd have never seen this little girl again. That's what I mean about you playing. This shit happened to people every day. For real, for real. And with all that bad publicity out there, he almost could have got away with it. Thank God he didn't. Thank God that good Samaritan still exists in the world. Just like you was trying to act like you were. You act like you sent the baby on the side of the highway and helped her. Now somebody else sent a child in a car that needed assistance and they helped her. And it wasn't because of you. It was the point, like the police said, if it was a baby on the side of that highway, it would have been more than one call. 
everybody been been calling like, "Hey, man, it's a baby down here." And then, uh, the more you look into this story, the more things come out. Remember, I told y'all when she pulled over, it's like she kind of knew it was a camera back there, and she drove all the way down there. It seemed like she just got just out of focus enough for us to not be sure what we seen. But it was some more camera footage that we seen that was clear enough, y'all. I said it. The woman got out the car and walked to the back. And you know what she got out the car, y'all? Her snacks. The crackers that she said the woman was feeding her, them nice adductors that she had feeding her, they were herself. She was the woman. She was the one playing with her own hair. Yeah, you was playing with your hair because you dropped your wig, bitch. That's why you was playing with your hair. I'm sorry. I said I want to go bash her. I'm just sorry. I can't help it. But that's why she was playing with your hair because you dropped your damn wig on the, on the highway. You know? And then it's things that people pay attention to that you think people don't notice. They notice that while you were kidnapped, you unblocked your boyfriend that you had stopped messing with for a minute. He, You know people was on his heels and on him like, man, your girl missing, huh? Your girl missing. Yeah, man, you know I've been trying to kick. Damn, she unblocked me. She unblocked. She on line nine. You know the damn light be green when you be on there. You know what I mean? They like, she on line nine. See if you can contact her. Redwood in one thirty. Woo woo woo. Boop. Damn. Don't tell nobody. All right. I'm 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 gonna let you know what's up. Cause he probably like. Let me see if I can rescue this girl. She might be just kidnapped here, or whatever. He went up there and she probably gave him that little hundred some dollars. No, but they still said she still had it. Now the job she left. I don't know if she took that money out the register or out of customer pocket. You know, you rubbing all on people and everything. She ain't no telling where she got it. But that's all she got. Might have been her little tip, y'all. Because she might have felt on a few guys, made them feel good. They slid or something. So we don't say the money's stolen. But it's still, it's crazy enough where the reason the police made a note of it. Because he like, man, they got you naked. You had the nicest kidnappers in the world. They got you naked, looked at your nice body, and I said again, she had a nice body. And decided I ain't even gonna touch it, man. No, no. I kidnapped this chick, I ain't gonna sleep with her, man. No. That wouldn't be, but I'ma just take a picture of her. Cha-ching! Turn around. Cha-ching! Yeah, that's good enough. You know my shit hard, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do you like that. No, I ain't gonna tie you up, babe. I don't wanna bruise your hands, you know, I don't wanna. Bruise your hands, you know. I just want to get you and look at you, take a picture. Of him. Give me another picture. Should have kept your wig though, but it's alright. Maybe she didn't look that attractive to him without his wig. Up then again, people ain't into molesting themselves too much, y'all. So I guess her attackers didn't have sex with her. So it makes sense. The more you think like this woman, the more clear the picture becomes, y'all. You know? Yeah, I guess her abductors did not have sex with her. <laughs> Why? Because she abducted herself. And maybe she has not mastered the art of masturbation yet, y'all. She is 25 years old with a body like that. She used to listen. That's why she had to spend two days at the hotel. So she had got that out the way. No need to uh, pleasure yourself when you had a man come pleasure you for two days while you was missing. But she guess we wouldn't figure all that out. You know, uh, I guess she didn't know nothing about the FBI and how good it is. And, you know. And that's sad, baby, because you, you from that little town, and I, I will say I, I applaud your police department. They put a lot of effort into looking for you, lady. But do you know it or not, listen, when people come up missing, 
it normally take them 24 hours to start looking for you 24 hours due to the fact you was kidnapped off a major highway and your car was left there running they thought it was emergency and urgent you threw your you threw that case into overdrive like that yourself with the phony phone call and then leaving your car like that you should have just parked it cut it off or something but no you want to leave it running that that sent the police into alert right there hey this woman is listening she ain't in the car they panicked they panicked the next morning they had the FBI there not cuz this is their procedure they had the FBI there because they panicked they like wait a minute we don't know what happened to her and all the time you done jumped the gate and went through the woods back there that's why she didn't have on no shoes y'all because she couldn't show up with no muddy shoes because she didn't want to show people where she was at so the shoes probably was so damaged she just took them on off and like hey because it's a guy went through there y'all through the woods and white where she disappeared at it's a sign right there and it's like that's why we couldn't see her jump the gate y'all or whatever that was back that's why we couldn't see it because she was just by that sign remember I showed y'all the video her car went all the way down there and right where she stopped at was perfect because the camera that had her was out of focus by then he still had a look on her and we could zoom in but we couldn't see as clear then they switched to the other side and they could catch up with her but then they got to try to look over there they couldn't see either because they looking at headlights you know so she thought about it a little bit not a well thought out plan but she did think about it a little bit but my thing is this what is going on in your life where you need to be doing so so much seem like your parents is doing pretty well i mean obviously you ain't bought no uh mercedes uh working at no spa but then again you could you never know it might not even be a spa it might be a brothel and, and the way she look is <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised I wouldn't be surprised if it's a prostitution ranch, you know what I mean? But uh, normally hoes don't get fired. Excuse me, I said I wasn't going to be bad. Normally hoes don't get fired from the uh, place of prostitution. But believe it or not, sometimes bad publicity is not good. Because they operating under the law. We are a spa. Now, if you come here and she gets you horny and then you and her make a little deal, that's on y'all. That ain't got nothing to do with the company now. That's on y'all. That's between y'all now. But, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. But, back to the parents. I think y'all should check that girl into a, a medical clinic for at least 24, I'm going to say 24, 72 hours observation right just then you know have them check her check her mental state have them ask a few questions have them ask the questions that did you know what you do was doing was wrong most people when they need time off y'all they call off or you go on vacation because you can get burnt out you know my wife just took a little vacation from work sometimes you get burnt out working but not to the point where you go uh you go uh, act like you've been abducted. But me and my girl have been joking where she said she was going to run away from me and her child and hide. She was joking though, but she said it. So sometimes people do be feeling emotionally rammed like that, you know. And mostly, I guess I can get on her damn nerves sometimes. I don't know. I know she can get on my nerves sometimes, but hey, I ain't going to go and uh, hide and leave. I definitely ain't going to leave my car running on the damn highway and jump no no gate and act like I've been missing and go stay at a hotel for two days. But maybe the hotel don't sound bad, but I ain't going to leave my damn car running on the highway to do it. And I damn sure go take more than some crackers. Mama, I don't think I'm making home, so I wouldn't even bought mama food. No, I wouldn't even bought mama food. 
But maybe she was using a credit card or something. But then the police ain't say nothing about a credit card either. So I don't know what to say, y'all. This story is so strange. But the truth then came out, but it is so strange. But we got to also think about what I said about the 13-year-old girl who was saved because somebody read a note. The little girl was smart enough. See, she was in real danger. And that's what you do when you're in real danger. You take chances to try to escape and get away. That man would have knew she was writing help me something like that on the thing. They had a picture of the note. Help me, she wrote. H-E-L. Help me. And she put it up. And I guess the way she was putting it, the people know she trying not to let the driver see. And somebody was observing enough and called it in. And they stopped that car. And sure enough, the man had a gun. Had kidnapped this girl from Texas. And guess where they pulled him over at, y'all? <laughs> Long Beach, California. This girl was a long way from home, y'all. At 13, I don't even think she knew how far. But, I'm going to tell you something. She was smart enough to know I'm in trouble. You hear me? That little girl was smart enough to know I'm in trouble. I'm on a highway. I've been on a highway two hours. My mama and them don't know, know where I'm at. I'm in trouble. That girl wrote something, and man, she probably like, mm -mm, I'm not going like this. This man already sticking his fingers and everything getting me, and he had molested her all the way, y'all. He did all kind of stuff to that little girl. Probably pulled over and made her perform all sex acts and everything. Everything. That's why I got mad at Carly last time, Miss Russell. People go through this for real. For real. And you playing with it. And not to mention. Your favorite movie is Taken. Your favorite movie is Taken too. Did you think that fucking girl was having fun? Think about it. You watched the movie. Do you think she was fucking having fun? Hell no. She was glad to have a daddy like she had. That told the man from the jump, I don't got no money. But what I do got is a set of particular ass skills. And if you leave my daughter now, I won't come looking for you. And you know what dude told him, right? Good luck. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said when he shocked his ass. And you remember how he did him, caught him and electrocuted him? Mm-hmm. Now, what if they want to do you like that? Tie your ass to a battery or something. Just <laughs> That's bad. Because you a, you a bigger woman. You 25. Somebody put it probably had way more fun with you than they would have that 13-year-old girl. But then again, it depends. The pervert might even like that. But I'm just saying. Hey. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, you know. Like I said, the girl needs some counseling, if you ask me. I ain't even trying to go hard on her today. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm not the type that like to even talk about stories like this. You know, I don't like doing stories like this for a long, long time, just getting caught in the other rhythms. And everybody got a story about this. They rephrasing it, and it's all the same thing. Everything that we already know, I did three stories about this woman. This probably be the fourth. And it is my last, y'all. I'm going to go deeper into the one about the 13-year-old girl. And I'm going to do that one for y'all so y'all can see what I was talking about. I sent it temporarily on Good Morning America News. And I just put it up before I started this YouTube and podcast. You know? So, uh... Y'all let me know what y'all think. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody favorite baby dad. What's the street, man? I'm going to plant you now. Dig you later. Hit that like button, man. If it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. You feel me? I'm out of here.